Good morning. Welcome to Warlocks and Waffles. A TTRPG morning show. show, the only one. Yahoo! Well, we are your guests. Spooky Mario and Spooky Luigi. It's, it's pronounced Bakai. Spakai Mario, Spakai Luigi. <laughs> Welcome to the show, everybody. It's a weird energy today. Um, <laughs> it's a weird energy. Junie, Junie has a fever, and I have no sleep. Um, so those are a recipe. What for? I don't know. But if it was a video <laughs> game, it would probably turn into like gray goo. Um, this is this is Warlocks and Waffles. Uh, welcome to the stream. Ha ha! Can we, can we redo the intro? Yeah, you want to start again? Redo it. Yeah, go ahead, go. Welcome to Warlocks and Waffles, a show that's made of gray goo. Uh, was that was that better? It's you know, you know uh, yeah, because uh, I heard you gray any, goose. You have, you is it any... like gray goose, like vodka, like a premium vodka? It, gray goose is a vodka, yeah. So when you said our energy would make gray goose, well, you said gray goo. I said gray goo. And I heard, yes, and I yeah. heard gray goose. And I was like, I, <laughs> you can see the look on my face like. So you want me to do it? We wouldn't be that good. I almost said we almost. You want me to do it again and leave out the gray goo? Th yeah. Okay. Third time. Uh, welcome to Warlocks and Waffles, a show that isn't made of gray goo. Um, we're a TTRPG morning show, uh, the only one until somebody challenges us for that title. Uh, welcome to the stream, everybody. Today we are talking about the new year, new year, year's, new year's resolutions. Words are difficult. Uh, talking about all those things. What do we want to do? What do you want us to do? What, what are we doing? Junie, talk so I'm not. Okay. <laughs> I just also want to say that that was a beautiful, that was good. That was flawless. Thank you. I'm so glad. Like we, we, I'm happy I to be here. Slapped. Yes. Uh, we we know we want to do so much, and yeah. we are going to set achievable it's goals. It's been, it's been we, we've done things. Yeah. Do you want to do we a? Do you want to do a such. like? If this was a, if this was a episode of like a TV show. I feel like this is an mm -hmm. episode where they'd be like, we've done a lot this year. Like, oh, man, you remember when? And it would be like a flashback episode. Um, yes. Yeah, I yeah, 1,000%. I don't, yeah. don't want to do a flashback episode because that sounds like a lot of editing work. Um, so do you want to just rapid fire say some of our favorite things that, like, happened this year? Oh. Yes, but real fast, I just uh -huh. went to the channel. I went to the YouTube channel, right? Uh -huh. uh, you know, if you look up Warlocks and Waffles on YouTube, right? Uh -huh. uh, it's so funny. A lot of the thumbnails, one of us looks so stressed. <laughs> one of us always looks so clearly like, uh, like the first two are me, like, me, I'm, what is I'm it? Uh, me with my, like putting my fingers right here, like the bridge of my nose, like, oh God. And another one is with like putting my hair back, like, okay, mother. Like, and I'm just like always, like, one of us is always like about to like, all right, listen, no, yeah, or, or they've just been hit with something heavy. It's very, it's very true. Like so many of these thumbnails are uh, either 
both of us have clearly broken um or one of us is like hey like what's what's going on here <laughs> <laughs> Oh man. Um yeah, it's it's I'm very always doing true. something with my arms. My god, what am I doing here? <laughs> um my I think my yeah. favorite will uh will always be um uh very very early on in our uh uh Baldur's Gate run. Um there's one of us uh where it's just like both of us are kind of like and it's just uh Leo- Leopold talking to a bear and it looks like neither of us have any idea what's happening. <laughs> um I'm so glad that we don't have like um the kind of split screen where you can see what I'm doing when when you're like doing whatever you're doing your screen. Oh only with, because uh, there was escape? Yeah, because there was one instance where I wish Rosie was streaming at the same time or like we had the split screen because it would be that like we were on a completely other adventure. <laughs> like we were just yeah. like, you know, do like just trying to Scooby Doo go through this. And you were like you had cheat coded your way to the Underdark or something weird. You had like you had you were in a place that, you had no business that game, being that game with Rosie. We absolutely should have had uh, the split screens. Because you and Rosie were absolutely not playing the same game I was. Um, no, you were you were definitely playing another. Game. We just found we would every time we'd progress even a little bit, it would just be looted corpses and like <laughs> like people crying as their like houses were on fire. It's just like he went that way. Yeah, <laughs> like, I got I got captured by uh, I got captured by goblins. Uh, uh, I made it to the underdark. I ran into Raphael um uh had ran off into the underdark was like fully at the mushroom colony and you guys were like we're dying and i'm like i don't know how i had i walked here like this was this was an easy stroll um none of that is what we're talking today junie gosh why <laughs> well no we were we 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 uh we were talking and we were recapping our favorite moments That's my true. favorite bolt escape moment is is when i uh was like i'm gonna use this start this dope monk build i'm gonna turn i'm gonna, I'm gonna slowly transition to a monk from a wizard uh -huh. and i was like i'll use this dope flail that heals me as i hit things <laughs> and then i went crazy yeah and you shot you mm -hmm. uh and just i just remember the the perfect moment of when I shot, I like it's. Uh, this is definitely like I wish there was a clip show and we had the clips queued up mm -hmm. because I just met. I remember the moment of like me shooting you and the little bit of silence right after the little bit of silence of like, you motherfucker, did you just shoot me? I was like, oh, oh, I'm so sorry. Because <laughs> well, and, and then you threw a goblin leaving, at me. What you're leaving was... out about that is uh, that moments before that. Uh, I, I had been like, hey, we should head like we should head towards the exit. Right. And you teleported outside, leaving me to fight my way through uh the the goblins that were still left inside. And then you started getting your ass handed to you outside. So then I was inside fighting my way out as you were like, I'm dying and it's your fault. And I'm like, motherfucker, you're the one that left. Uh, and then I That's, finally got yeah. outside and had to save your ass. And as soon as I mm -hmm. got out there, you shot me. <laughs> this is this is all accurate. Uh, and, you know, I... I yeah, knew it was to, my we need fault, to go back right? And play again. We haven't played in too long. I I knew it was my fault, but I mm -hmm. didn't remember how much of my fault it was beforehand. And I was like, "Damn, that was really my fault." It wasn't yeah. like, "Oh, we're in a fight," and I hit him. I was like, "I did teleport into an un teleport you, you out teleported of into area. an area that fully started a second fight while I was already in a fight asking for help." Yeah, I I just, you know, you said let's go and I went. Like mm -hmm. I if anything, I followed your orders too good. Yeah. And sure. and and got and got me in danger and you had to rescue me. And that's uh and but, then uh, I and then I was Carlac and I I threw a goblin at you. 
Um, That's right. I thought I knew. I knew I got a goblin thrown at me twice, uh, and I was. I just imagined you doing it. Um, Leopold, yeah. Leopold had no strength to to throw a goblin. <laughs> um, I was like, you were barbarian, right? At some point, yeah. I don't remember. It's been a long time. We need to go back to it. We need to go back. I uninstalled the game and reinstalled it because I was told that might be easier than letting it update the crazy last update. Oh, really? So, uh, yeah, they they said something about like it would be X amount of gigs, but like it's baked in if you have a fresh install. Mm. It was when I was at PAX. When I was at PAX, people like the headlines were the devs recommend actually uninstalling the game and re and then the patch if you have the time to to do that. You know what I mean? Because mm. it takes time to uninstall and takes time to download. Uh, so I just had it do it overnight. Um, uh, but uh, that makes sense. so I haven't played since PAX. So I that's that's how long it's been for me. Uh, I, I feel like I can I'm neither I can neither confirm or deny that I acquired a Steam Deck so that I can play Baldur's Gate from my bed. So that's a thing. Your wife I, must be thrilled. <laughs> She actually, because she's actually excited about it, because it means that when I, when I'm like, oh, I just, I just want to play Baldur's Gate, I can do that like in the living Be room around. or like, yeah, uh, if yeah. we're watching TV in bed or something like that, and we can still hang out, um, instead of me, like, I got you, disappearing into my office for hours on end. Um, la- last, last Baldur's Gate nonsense. Uh-huh. Does has Grace made a character? No, she hasn't played. Okay, uh, I I made one uh uh for for Shanice and oh boy, to watch her go through an hour and just make it to Shadowheart. Now you're probably going, wait, I thought you said an hour, and I mm-hmm. and that's correct. Mm-hmm. She took a very long time to get to Shadow, and just think about how many times we speed run through. That We've been opening through the arc Nautilite like, a lot. <laughs> yeah, like, you know, we can do it in, like, less than 15 minutes or something like mm-hmm. that. And then it's just, like, but the 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 joy and wonder of, like, what happens if I go over here? Or what happens if I click over here? Or yeah. what happens all that stuff? And I'm just like, go to the left! <laughs> <laughs> Don't when, hit when you that! Say, when you say just made it to Shadowheart, do you mean Shadowheart on the beach or Shadowheart like on the Nautiloid? On the Nautiloid. That's insane. That's what yeah, you, what I you know. Just said is a nonsense. I can't. I can't think of a character way creation. To but but take no, no, an no hour. Ca- character character creation was part of that. Oh well, then so that's the... nothing. You've said you've you've made it sound like it was a big deal. I assumed an hour on the nautiloid trying to get to to shadow heart it An was still a lot of time creation and then getting to shadow heart is not crazy um to me that is nuts uh because how much, it was how still much of the a, time was character creation maybe half i don't know it, it just whatever okay. amount of time we would think would take to get on the like to go through the, like i know she had two little playthrough sessions and I think the second time she might have made it off the Nautiloid. That's what I mean. It, but it's every click around. And and I think I took the first time I did it. I, I think I was there for a bit clicking around and stuff. And it's just comparing it to what I do now. Like how we yeah. speed run it now. You know what I mean? I, if you think of somebody that like uses an old computer and it's just like, that took four seconds to open Windows? Like, yeah. that, you know, like that's ludicrous. With, with, my, uh, with my Carlac run, I just found out that there's like more stuff in that first room that you wake up in um because mm-hmm. there are like high ledges that go around and there's like other chests but you can't get to it oh. unless you have a high enough strength to like jump up there um and i had never noticed it until i was playing as carlack and was like wait i can i can jump up here what is up here? there's stuff um yeah anything good there's some decent stuff yeah, oh, worth man. worth putting a couple extra points into strength. Oh damn it! All right, well that's the thing I have to men- make a mental note for. Um, <laughs> all right. So aside from uh, uh, Baldur's Gate, uh, yeah. we 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 did some other things. We, we did we, the other we, stuff. Yeah, we did. Uh, we had people on the show. Mm-hmm. Uh, at one point, we went somewhere and did a thing. We did. Uh, what what do you what 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 jumps out at you? What what if you have to think of like if you're making that mental highlight reel? What what 
we you, we had a lot of think fondly we, of we had a lot of great guests um i'm looking forward to having a, a bunch of like a, a bunch more guests on the show um we had a bunch of good guests on the show this year uh the the seattle trip is like has gotta be uh, a highlight um like that was such a such a fun process um my my audio is registering weird on my end um but yeah the 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 seattle trip was absolutely the highlight for me um like it was such a such a weird experience to be like oh yeah we're we're going to to seattle and we're gonna do like crazy stuff um we can be booked uh like the, to just right. go like you know somebody booked us to open a show or like mm -hmm. open a thing like that is to go like oh that's that's what we are we oh yeah like us us sitting we're, we're, at, yeah uh sitting in the like little uh like food hall area of that event and just sitting there and being like we just we just did a live show we just we just did a live show to open national tabletop day at this event like that's cool we that's should do cool. we should do this more <laughs> <laughs> you right, right? Like, we should do this all the time this is and good i, this I, is a I good remember thing. i remember the uh the the i wish i had a camera on you moment uh when like there was a little back and forth where it was just like because this is this is hunter's baby you know this is this is, <laughs> this, is this is this is hunter's pride and joy here uh and just the like the realization of like like this is yours man you you this look at this and to know that he had a banner somewhere like a banner yeah. with his logo up on a thing and he was gonna get it yeah. <laughs> like, it's, just... <laughs> it's right it's right up here um it's like it's just like shaking shaking with joy Ugh. yeah yeah the uh the wax stamp um is what really like threw me for a loop on that one was like yeah we had a we have a wax stamp with your with your logo on it and i was like that's crazy that's a that's a you've just said a crazy thing um yeah it's, uh, your it's words wild. exactly i'm almost positive because i think there was a brief moment where you were like oh that would be cool and then the guy was like no i went and i got them I have yeah. the like I I have the thing. My, and my just brain the... didn't comprehend yeah, what he you was didn't saying want to accept for a minute. It. Yeah. Yeah, it was a it was a very weird experience for me. Um that I I'm very I'm very thankful for. Um We're gonna it's I just realized how it's gonna make giveaways way more complicated is then I have to send things to you. Cause I forgot that that there's a wax seal that yeah. has the logo on it. So there should be no reason that if we send anything to anybody that it does not have the wax seal on it. So <laughs> when just, I when I'll I send just out do a bunch of them, uh, if them on like wax paper or something, and then just send them to you, and you can glue them onto the top. That's actually that's actually really freaking smart. Like yeah, on wax paper, and then send a sheet of them uh, because uh, that exists. <laughs> like mm -hmm. I forgot I forgot that exists uh did you uh i i oh god it wasn't one of the first guests was it what the first guest was Kelly monster was uh was dylan and ram was that the first guest when i was on it was pretty early um i don't i don't remember let's see here um e either way it was it was very it was very early um <laughs> The thumb the thumbnails for some of these episodes when I go back, the casting characters, uh, and it looks like I have Terry Crews as Asmodeus. <laughs> <laughs> I had a power, I had a full PowerPoint presentation. <laughs> uh our first our first guest was Randall with a um little game master. Okay. And then and then we had Kill Every Monster. Okay. Uh and th that was those were both it was so good. It was because it's it's I love doing this nonsense mm -hmm. but it's always fun to go back to we are a ttrpg morning show and mm -hmm. while we love embracing the nonsense we still like to go we're in the space mm -hmm. uh i know we'd like being in the space uh and the more time we spend without guests and stuff like that that's when i go it's just like hey 
there is a world out here. <laughs> it's just what? Oh, I don't know news and stuff. Uh, news. Would mm-hmm. you ever want to touch news? We could. I, I, it's one of those things where I've always been on the fence. Mm-hmm. Where is that our vibe or is that something we want to uh, have opinions on and such? I, mm-hmm. I, I have said many a time I'm a sheeple. Mm-hmm. Uh, I I just I like a lot of things, uh, and then I'll find out that the thing I like is uh, problematic, and then I'll be like, uh, uh, oh god, pant, and just you can just see panic and like deer in the headlights. <laughs> so I'm just like, oh, I don't know, man. I don't know if I want to have that sort of panic on <laughs> on air. <laughs> hey, I really like you know like this this you know supplement for whatever. It's just like, oh, we didn't know you like Nazis, and it's like, uh, oh. Oh, oh no! Is that what I, that means? I don't. Yeah. Oh, I'm so sorry. <laughs> Please, I don't. I really don't. No, we've we've had conversations in the past where we're like, uh, "Oh, this would this would be a cool thing," and then we're like, "Oh, wait, is this not a cool thing?" Like we we, <laughs> yeah. we don't know. Um, yeah. Is this a cool thing? I don't know. I'm an adult, but I don't know if this is a cool thing or not. Yeah, I know I'm my. Adult. I need an adult. Surface I need a better opinion adult. of this thing. Um, yeah, it's one of the, I think if we were going to talk about news, I would want to bring on, um, like people who know more about it than us, um, to, to mm-hmm. talk about it. Cause I, I just don't know. Um, and there, I, and there are plenty of people that are way more knowledgeable. Yeah. 100%. <laughs> there, there's lots of people we know. Yeah. Yeah. Um, yeah, that would be fun. I, I would enjoy that. Um, uh, did you, did you have, uh, any favorite bits? Any any like small bits Ooh. or reoccurring segments or anything that that you I'll tell you what I missed the Ranger report. I'll say it. I did enjoy the Ranger I really report. I really miss it. I think I, really I think New that. Year's New Year's we bring back the we bring bring back the Ranger report this year because um, I did I did enjoy that as just a a running segment. Um, mm-hmm. It was uh, it was a it was a good time. I, I have a I know that uh, I have the an idea for the dream the pipe dream of a content calendar where instead of it being like every week you know we we have to plug and play the same thing and we'll Mm -hmm. feel burnt out or we'll feel whatever we can we can map it out so it's like you know like oh second two second mondays or 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 ranger report days or like Mm -hmm. uh something like that so we can go like spread them out pre-plan uh you know uh the for the we both talked about uh just sometimes when our ADD gives us like that, uh, what you said it better than me, like, but productive procrastination, you said, you said the word better. Like you combine them into one word, uh, productivation. I don't know what you said. <laughs> yeah. Something you, but like productive that. procrastination. Well, you're productive, but yeah, you're really the, just procrastinating for yeah. something you do. You, you uh, have something then, that you are supposed to be doing and instead you're doing yes. a bunch of other things that are irrelevant. And I just imagine the text from one of us going like, I wrote 35 Ranger reports. <laughs> like, they're there. <laughs> they're locked and loaded. We have two years worth of Ranger reports. We're good. Uh, that's that's uh, that's going to be fun. Yeah. Um, I, I did I miss also... that bit, so I'm, I'm happy to bring that back. <laughs> what is it? The, the Oops All Bits. <laughs> Oops All Bits was a good day. Yeah, I enjoyed that one. Um, um the i uh, i enjoyed I was, the um i uh, uh which one was it the uh, the the power rangers education day um i thought that was fun i enjoyed that one that was that was good i i just remember being not mad but like when we went into oops all bits mm-hmm. i remember going we have made drastically different interpretations of this note <laughs> <laughs> you had like fun mini games and i was like i have really dumb sight gags right. i have really dumb tiny jokes that are real stupid yeah we we <laughs> took that uh we we took that uh that prompt very differently um and that's always that's always fun um i i also enjoyed um and we we stopped doing it and we we should return to it at some point the um uh, the monster rankings. Um, mm-hmm. I had I had a good time with those. Uh, that was a that was a fun a fun process. Um, I I I know that I think it was we saw the uh, the mountain one the mountainous ones coming in. 
because we had done a lot of yeah. the smaller ones. We had done all and then the we ones saw, that were like, like whatever here's, here's was six fiends. monsters. Um, exactly. There was one was, that was going to be like, oh, there's and 35. Celestials were coming up, and yeah. it was like, here's, uh, I think we did Celestials, but Fiends was like uh, a lot of them, and then we were like, well, Aberrations? What, uh, I don't know if we did Aberrations. Aberrations was a big one that was coming. Like, there were, yeah. a, there were a lot that were on there that were like, okay, and next up is like this one that has 47. Uh, like, do we, do we tackle all of these? Like, what are we, what are we doing? I, um, I think the original idea was to pre do like almost like a preliminary, like, like bottom of the barrel. Like, you know what I mean? If we had mm-hmm. to go left or right, which one is better or worse? And then mm-hmm. just go like, these are the honorable mentions. We, <laughs> We only talked to the blink dog was whatever, like, you know, whatever, whatever it would be that we just, but like these guys didn't make right. the cut. And then we do our rankings for the top one or we mm. do like three parter. Mm. And you know, it's just like, yeah. all right, we're working our way up. We could do a, is yours uh, going to be mentioned this week. We could do a, a top and bottom draft of like, we go through and mm. we, uh, we go, okay, these ones are like the, the top five. These ones are the, the bottom five. Um, that'd be fun. Um, yeah, uh, there are, there are ways that we could do it. I can't hear draft without thinking of a sport of some sort and it imagine, is a sport. Oh my, <laughs> no, oh my God, this is it. This is the thing. You see the spark in my eye right now. All right. It's I see the, draft, I see the, right? I see the fever fuel mania. That's <laughs> I, have in. Fever. I have a legitimate 100.8 fever. Uh, it is, uh, it's low grade, but imagine a monster draft where it's lit i don't even know if it's good content this just i think it's just fun we literally get each get three monsters and we try to fight each other (laughs) it's like a pokemon battle (laughs) we just get it's just a pokemon battle that's all it is i'm actually i Uh, just i could absolutely get behind that it's just like (laughs) nice beholder but can you mess with my bullet and then (laughs) it's just like throw it out there it's just like nice eye beams i'm underground you can't you can't eye beam what you can't see idiot um it writes itself man we're we're good i'm i'm into that we could absolutely do something like that um that kind of leads us into uh something we want to talk about which is like in the new year is there is there new content that we want to make um i know that we've i know we've talked kind of extensively about like Oh, we should, we like, we have the morning show where we're doing that. We like, we should have a a Patreon set up that we can do additional content on. Um, is there stuff that you want to do like main feed? Um, and is there stuff that you want to do? Like, let's, let's put it on the Patreon. Um, cause I would love to, uh, get that set up for the new year. Uh, for Patreon content, I 1000% want to do, uh, I've said it before. I want to do a uh, pre-show. Mm, uh, mm-hmm. now I don't know how much is too much mm-hmm. and how much is where it's like not enough. Cause I also don't want the pressure of, all right, we got to be on over a half hour, an hour before we're on. Right. However, there are times when we're we're on right beforehand and there's something that's just that's fantastic um yeah. there's also this uh after hours vibe to it because i think weirdly we, yeah in the in the beginning yeah. like before we go live we, we get a, out we get out some of the stuff vibe. we know we yeah. can't say yeah. yeah we definitely get out some of the stuff we know we can't say there have definitely the been times show. where uh where judy and i will be in the call and we'll be like, here's a joke I was, here's a bit I wanted to do, but we're not going to do it. But like, here's a bit I was going to do. Um, and they're never like bad. They're just always like a little bit more like insane or like time intensive or something like that. There was one, there was one time where we got on a call uh, and I forget which one of us pitched it, but one of us pitched a thing that would have absolutely absorbed an entire episode. <laughs> Uh, or like, oh, we could do this as like a fun opener. And the other person was like, that will be an hour and a half of like, that's not a fun opener. That is a longer than that normal is, episode. That is the full thing. Yeah. Um, uh, yeah, I, I, I agree. Was... I think recording the pre-show is, is fun. Um, and we could, it, I think that if we are like 
doing the doing the pre-show and we're like putting it out every week on the patreon i do think that is excessive mm -hmm. um but i could see uh a something where like once a month we just like have gone through all of our pre-show recordings and taken the like sections of it that were actually funny mm -hmm. uh and put it together into a like bonus hour um we'd, ha of, we'd have to content. we'd have to have we'd have to have uh like almost like every day has two topics and it's like whatever it is going to be that day but then also like just a uh you know when we sit down as a like, hey man how's it going yo seriously though is it weird I don't like peanut butter? And then that's it. Like, it's just like, there is going to be like, whatever, like a little things. You remember that time Junie really went off on peanut butter? <laughs> like, you know, he doesn't like it. Like, it's not just the taste thing. He really is against it. Yeah. It's, it's a, it's a hard stance you've taken. Um, My kid's allergic. Damn it. <laughs> I know. I, I am so sorry. <laughs> uh, every time we go to no, but I didn't like it. I didn't like peanut butter before that. It was just it's just convenient. Uh, this is legitimate. You, I'm, you eat I was out of never... spice now, or out of spite. Uh... <laughs> um, every time, every time I go to a convention or anything like that with Judy, he's like, "I got to eat this trail mix because as soon as I'm home, I can't have peanuts." Uh, he's just like shoving handfuls of trail mix into his mouth. There was one time we were yeah, I like in, peanuts and peanut butter we were in the car, Pe peanuts, uh, yeah. driving home from uh, from Gen Con, uh, and Judy has a like a bag of uh, of trail mix and like nuts and stuff, and he we're driving home and he is like eating it just voraciously uh and there was a point where yeah. he uh he was like oh no i got it all over me i'm gonna have to change my clothes before i go inside <laughs> like it was it was insane it was the most i like, didn't understand what you meant but yeah it was the most like tasmanian devil like just <laughs> like just the cookie monster <laughs> eating a bag of trail mix um <laughs> I'm so mad because, like, I'm like, there's a part of me I was just like, yo, stop exaggerating. And then I'm like, but you no, know bro, it's I think that's true. how that was. I know that's, <laughs> yeah, no, there's a part of me that's just like, no, man, you really Ooh. wanted to eat that. It was a hefty bag of trail mix. It was. And then I was probably worried about peanut dust. Yeah. So were, I was just like, were, oh, no, like, oh, no, I can't go no, inside. I can't go inside until I'm changed. Residue. Like, yeah, it was so funny. Um, yeah, I, I that love. Is, uh, that, that is how that be. Uh, Rosie says voracious trail mix consumption is a good band name. <laughs> oh shit, that is good. Oh, uh, you know, so, you know something I want to do. Uh, I want to. I feel like there's multiple lists of dope things, and Rosie does a really great job of. Helping Rosie does us out an amazing <laughs> job of like curating our list of like dumb shit we've said. Uh, I I definitely want to like have them all like because. If y'all don't know this about Hunter, Hunter is a fan of Sticker Mule. And there are times that uh, Hunter is just like, hey, look, uh, we can get 40,000 stickers for six bucks. Or it's just like, we can get shirts for cheap or something like that. And it's just like, all right, is this some, is this a time where we want to put one of our like straight up fire quotes on something mm -hmm. or, or make a really good button or sticker or something like that? Um, so one thing I would like to do is uh, we we have a Patreon, uh, not a Patreon. We're gonna have a Patreon, but we're gonna have right. uh, we have the Discord. You know, you have mm -hmm. you have the Discord, and it exists. Uh, uh, you do a good job of plugging it, uh, but I want to like make sure that link is freaking everywhere, yeah. uh, because I think we're gonna put a lot more polls for like, hey, which one of these would make a better button, uh, and just to have yeah. a little more uh, uh, quote quote merch because. Even if, you know, people, there have been more than one, uh, like, shirt or button or sticker idea that has made me go, you don't need to technically watch the show to get the most out of this. Oh, sure. Um, yeah. Never let them know your next soup. Uh, Single-handedly, the most yeah. comments I have ever received on a shirt. Um, I yeah. wear that shirt everywhere, and every time I wear it, somebody will stop me to ask a question about it. Um, yeah. It is, it is fantastic. I love that shirt. <laughs> yeah, no, that, that is, that, that was like the proof of concept for me mm -hmm. where I was just like, yo, we could, we could make some things here. Uh, there is that, that, I remember you going back and forth on that shirt. Shit we say. Oh, 1000%. Um, 
Uh, oh, speaking of, of of dumb shit, we say uh, the the I'm not here to muscle on your ex. I'm just trying to commit crimes. Uh, for uh, we were playing Rosie. Was it? Was it? What, what game was it? No, it was um, it was uh, Frank's game. It was yeah. Uh, it was the Humblewood game. It was the Humblewood game. Yeah. yeah. Uh, me as a rooster, uh, doing that. Uh, but then just <laughs> having not trying a shirt to muscle in on your rooster. ex. Just trying to do crimes just trying to do crimes uh that's no one asked about that shirt until like i bring it up but then it's like such a good like wait what uh because yeah, it sneaks up on you well you it's did, one of those things really where well. like i i intentionally designed it to kind of just look like a hot sauce label um yeah and uh it like it it's one of those things where there is enough stuff happening on the shirt that it just kind of just distracts your brain enough to go yeah, that's something. Um, and you don't read yeah. it. And so until you actually like read it, you're like, wait, what the fuck is this? Like, this is such a weird thing. Um, I, I love, I love that shirt. Oh my God. It's a great shirt. Um, well, as, and as part of the, like, we should do, we should do more like merch from our stuff. Like we need to figure out a way to set up a, a store effectively um for mm -hmm. like people who want to buy the uh the stickers and shirts and stuff like that that we uh that we want to put together so maybe doing a, a red bubble or something like that um that uh people are able to order those uh directly um instead of it being something where uh we're like hey we have uh we have 50 stickers um yeah and if you would like one please let us know um yeah, we could do a, a uh, we could do yeah. a thing where like when if you if you're like signing up for the Patreon, if you're like supporting us, we'll send you a we'll send you a sticker. Um, and it's just a, a random uh, a random sticker chosen by us when you uh, when you sign up. Um, I touched this one. This is it's just like it's just touched by. So it's, it's just like, ooh, this is this is the one I got a little it's tag like a, in the box that says like handpicked by Junie Ruiz. Yeah, um, yeah, yeah. That'd be, uh, that'd be fun. I've I don't never, know why. I've never really done much with Patreon, so I I don't have a whole lot of experience with it to know like what the what the setup looks like. Uh, Patreon, coffee. Uh, there, it's you know, it's it's a direct way for people to show their support, but also like you get something directly to them. Mm -hmm. So it's it's always tricky because we had discussed uh either a simul stream or a migration or something but using our youtube channel a little bit mm -hmm. more as well uh not necessarily like abandoning this but mm -hmm. like you know just you know using our different avenues uh but then centralizing where people could show their support so it's like right. uh, instead of a follow here a follow there it's the same you know money out of their pocket and stuff like that but more of it goes to the the creator Mm -hmm. um because there's like not as much of a split and then you can show like different kinds of content so like you know things where it's like videos we make where it's like that or if it's posts uh i know we've i, I have one our folder we have like i feel like i have more than one adventure that i feel like we've started writing uh and definitely a whole ton of items uh we have more yeah. than enough items npcs and stuff that um uh, putting out as pdfs is something that i've been wanting to do for a while because mm -hmm. we we make the thing and it does not take that much it's not that crazy to format it to mm -hmm. make it usable and even then just a document just like you know hey this is a google doc with all these searchable tables and stuff like that um making that available first for the people that like have our back because there's there's a lot of ogs that uh yeah. that have been with the channel for a really long time and we would not be able to you know it's 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 better than talking into the void so <laughs> it's it's nice to know hey there, you know how surprising it was to be at pax and people go like yeah i yeah i i, I see you guys i i put you on in a mm -hmm. tab and stuff like that like that's mm -hmm. cool you know mm -hmm. uh it is it is uh it is it is dope to know that like hey people tune in for a morning show right in the morning yeah yeah or at the crack or like uh are throwing uh throwing on the the bod or something like that mm -hmm. um yeah it it's it's 
great to know that like the the time is being appreciated um Mm -hmm. but uh yeah it is it is available via podcast too now uh like it's apparently it was just a toggle but um if anybody's on youtube music uh i it it it's still the same thing where it's like it's still a video so it's just like a video on there but it does show up as a podcast Hmm. so i need to work on show notes so that way like search seo and stuff like that will like do a little bit it'll be a little more discoverable but like google podcast is ending so they're doing a whole big migration to youtube music nice. so um just making it like easier for people to listen without necessarily needing a tab or anything like that mm-hmm. they can have it on their phone with their headphones and stuff like that uh there has been more than one episode i feel like i've put on because i was like hold on what i, I just keep looking at the oops all bits episode because i really did just change my background i had very elaborate bits <laughs> i had such such elaborate bits that required like at one point i had to make my camera blurry for that one <laughs> and that was just that was just for me that was not for the audio listener yeah. oh man there's been there's been so much like nonsense we've done over this year um i'm real excited for for the new year and like making making new stuff um are there things that you want to do um like outside of the the morning show um is there like anything that you would like to do that uh we're not we're not currently hitting uh like show ideas or like yeah, anything. Uh, what uh i i think i i teased this to you uh the other day where I said I had an idea and I laughed so loud in the shower. My wife said, are you okay? Uh, because I did just start laughing like real, real, real ridiculous. And I'll, I'll pitch it here. Cause there's no way I can get it to, I can't hit you with this live um, because it would be impossible to get that far in the production for the level that I want to do it. And also I think you'd be really mad if we got <laughs> to the point of like, we're alive and I'm hitting you with this. But um, as some people may or may not know, I watch anime uh, and I don't know why I you really don't know why wanted... you watch anime. No, no, I don't know. Well, well yeah, no, it's it's now I'm at the weird part uh, where I'm where I'm a connoisseur of uh, d- discerning between trash and garbage. There's a two different there's a difference between trash and garbage. But anyway, we're not. That's not why I'm here. Um but isekai uh you know being transported into another world is such a mm-hmm. huge uh trope and it's even and it's used in in D and other things it's just like hey a person that's transplanted in another setting um and i just so desperately wanted to sit you down and hand you a character sheet and and it just says hunter and it's in and, and like here you go this is you and then have a few other guests uh that are uh, on my level of of knowledgeable and and just goes like oh you hunter you wake up and you're you don't know where you are and there's this spiky haired uh he has yellow hair and he's got a headband and he's just like hey believe it you can't chill right here we got to go find the hokage he's been kidnapped and you're like what and i are you familiar with the show quantum leap yeah i want to do that but isekai Mm -hmm. uh i and and then it's just every episode is a different show. I'm I'm positive I know you haven't watched. And hey, the people, if it's an anime, that's a very that's a very long. I list. know that, I know that. And then, and then, and then you hoping that the next isekai is the isekai home. <laughs> and it's just, and it's just like it's just you constantly getting oh it's got into a different God. either a That's different game so system funny. or a different yeah. world and it's, it's just a lot of in jokes oh, and you're there man. like i'm i'm guessing that's a thing <laughs> like I'm like okay yeah. i guess every every episode you have like guests who are also mm-hmm. really into those animes uh and so oh, yep. they yep. they all know what you're talking about and i super don't um, yeah and oh, man. uh because i don't want it to be mean i'm not we're not you know but it's just one of those things where it's just funny because it's so ludicrous some right. of the the tropes and like show premises and it's just like this is where is juni being ridiculous and where is it like this is a show idea right and it's like no like yeah th- this 
Hunter, you are reincarnated as a vending machine. You are a vending machine right now. What do you do? That's so funny. Uh, that, that is a real show idea. So that, that's a real that thing that definitely exists. feels. That definitely feels like a like that's a, a whole like that is its, it's own a whole show thing for sure. It's a whole thing. Um, <laughs> yeah, that's so funny though. Um, I love that. But just like I hope that the next isekai is the isekai home is and is then a just very going hilarious like, line. Yeah, I was just like, oh man, he would. Like it'd be that kind of fun where you're just like, Ugh. I mean, yeah, it's fun, I guess, but I'm, I don't know what the hell's going on. <laughs> I'm yeah. just like, oh, but, but it's, it's we get it's, we get it's, uh, it's fun. we get artists to draw uh, you and myself in anime style um, uh, for that. Mm-hmm. Yeah, yeah. That'd this be, is this is like you know good. fun a fun little once a month a once a month show. Uh, yeah, that I'm, that could be I'm our, into it. That's our fun. bigger thing um that's fun patreon stuff um the uh with with the patreon we could like there's i've seen different people have done patreon differently like some people are doing a like uh they do uh you have a monthly fee and uh like you're supporting that way other people do it where it's like you pay per thing you want to unlock on per Patreon. project or per thing um yeah. Mm-hmm. yeah i for for me i definitely lean towards just the like here's the stuff we want to create um and like the the monthly stuff all goes towards that um i know the um there's a there's a lot of like similarities in that respect to like kickstarter of like uh when we when we reach like this amount that we're receiving in like monthly support we can unlock this thing um and i'm Mm -hmm. much more familiar with like that model than i am the like uh pay based on project thing like there's there's a lot of people that i love their content and would love to like support them on patreon but i don't understand how that (laughs) that method of doing it works Mm -hmm. and so i won't um because i'm like i don't know what i'm paying for and to me the like month the like the monthly one makes sense the the Mm -hmm. one where it's like uh you pay this amount per project i'm like okay does that mean every time you release a project then i'm charged that amount does that mean that i have to choose which ones that i want to Uh, support does like i know how do i know which ones i want to support like yeah it's a it's a whole thing i think that it like you can do it something where it's uh like we can post up like because uh, this is this is a thing that exists and will go up. Uh, but Juni and his family have been deathly ill uh, for the mm-hmm. holiday season. Uh, but we recorded a fun little adventure called the night the night after Rifmas, mm-hmm. uh, and that will be up. That is going to go up before the year is through. Um, but that's something where it's like, oh, our Patreon, uh, our Patreon subscribers will like supporters will get that automatically. But mm-hmm. if you're like, oh, I don't want to commit, well, here's just five. And mm. you could piecemeal get the things. So if we had uh like packs of like uh, items and and stuff like that, it's like they can just like subscribe to be like you know monthly supporters, or sure. they can just piecemeal. Well, I just need this one thing. I want to show my support, and I just this is all. I'm I'm good for this though. Mm-hmm. They can go that route. I've seen like uh, Dungeons and Daddies and stuff like that. They'll have like their live shows or certain things like piecemeal up. Where you mm. can just get like, oh, I just want these. And then if we want to do like, oh, this is a five part series, each one is a one ninety nine, but you can get all of them for this, you can do that too. I think you can group okay. together and it, it's I think that it can be ambiguous the way you've said it, but I've also seen it where it's like each thing is itemized and you could like go very, very, very specific. Mm-hmm. Um it's just a matter of like the split and the cut and 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 all that stuff. Right. Uh, so once again, stuff we still have to get like familiar ourselves familiarize mm-hmm. ourselves with. Um, I know that what it's gonna help with a lot is editing because I know there are people that are better than me in some aspects, and sometimes just the time aspect. Mm-hmm. Uh, but getting the time to like be able to make the kind of quality of life or um just show quality improvements we we like mm-hmm. a certain production standard uh i'm spoiled yeah. i like a certain level of production value uh and i don't like just blah 
throwing stuff sure. uh, out there. So, um, helping us out with with editors or, or uh, mm-hmm. art. I like. I don't. I hey, I'll say this is a junior hot take. I am a, a fan of as a tool, mm-hmm. as a tool AI. Mm-hmm. Uh, mm-hmm. I'm not a fan of uh, using uh, AI models to like uh, uh, steal people's art or anything like that. Right. So I don't. I I'll yeah, joke away like for the, certain backgrounds like and the, things, but like the generators for like a. A, a tool that I'm using, like the, the chat GPT for like uh, giving it a prompt and then having yeah, like yeah, yeah. text uh, we, feedback. We still have like, to... Oh, here's this stuff. Um, like that's, yeah. it's, it, it can be a valuable tool as long as you're, you know how to like take that and then expand on it. Um, yeah. yeah. So, the, but we still want to support artists. A, a, yeah. A weird area. And I, I will always prefer a, uh, an artist over the AI art. Um, Correct. But yeah um the, so, i appreciate we, i appreciate the clarification of like as a tool <laughs> yeah because there there are people no, like i know i I've, absolutely get it yeah um, it's like oh i love ar it's like so you hate artists and it's like no no, no. no. hold yeah. on here yeah the uh because i i love i love working with artists and i i did a um for my uh for my dad's christmas present um i like compiled a bunch of stuff about my like my game world for him in like this tome um because he's the one that originally created the world that i run games in and then like i have taken it and adapted it and stuff like that um so i gave him this whole thing and as part of that i had a whole section on like the pantheon that exists in my world um and i had commissioned artists to do like art of my pantheon a while back um and so just like i spent so much time just pouring over that art and appreciating it um over the course of making that uh that thing and i love i love it so much like the there's something so so much more um what's the word i'm looking for like personal um i was gonna say personal about like there there's a soul to art made by people that is absolutely lacking in anything by ai um so i will i will always choose uh like actual artists over over ai um but yeah uh i would love i would love to get art done of like some of our uh some of our more uh more concrete ideas of things um that'd be fun anime versions of us uh i want uh i do want like gritty reboot versions of us too i essentially just imagine versions of us that would be like uh for for different uh flavors of episodes or flavors of projects so uh anime us gritty reboot us uh high fantasy us like mm-hmm. uh very like uh what oh man i guess I don't know. I just thought, whenever I think of high fantasy, I always imagine like like pointy hat wizard with a beard. Mm-hmm. Uh, but if you were to go high fantasy hunter, how would you? What would you? What do you envision? I mean, it's definitely a bard, right? Like that. That is mm-hmm. my. That's my jam. Um, so something in something in that area. Um, the I. I don't know. I don't know. Like what I would go for visually absolutely a cape of some sort um i i do lean towards a lot of like um random like bits and bobs and like dangles and uh uh like accessories and like random nonsense that is uh, uh attached to me um like my my pirate costume my my wife was joking about this the last time we went to Renfair um my my pirate costume takes like once we get to Renfair I will be standing at my car for like 20 minutes getting into my uh my pirate costume getting ready um yeah. because it's just a like and add this layer and add these belts and add the uh the bandanas and the like little charms and the rings and the earrings and the like this and that and the other thing um so i'm i'm a fan of the like accessorized to extremes uh look the like uh that like jack sparrow sort of uh Mm -hmm. vibe of like there's just a bunch of like everywhere you look there's something else on there um i I love that um that's yeah i've i've seen it i've seen it in person and i'm like i imagine you doing it before you leave one time and then needing to get gas 
I've absolutely and, walked yeah. through a sheets in full pirate. Yep. Like, it happens. Uh um what are, what other version of you would you if you had to imagine like uh uh I don't know, I was gonna say cyberpunk. Mm-hmm. <laughs> if you had to go. Uh, a gritty reboot version of us i don't know i feel like would just be me uh i imagine almost zombie survivor but like uh where it's just like it is a button-up white shirt a tie and it's just in tatters like i i did a uh like back in the day we had to do zombie outfits and i just was like can i just be a person that's barely hanging on and it's just me always dressed as a normal dude with a tie and it's just like 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 a tie maybe a tie on his head but just barely like okay <laughs> Ooh, Ro- rosie said the roaring 20s Ooh. that'd be fun oh man i like uh, that um, I like a suit. Post, I like, post, I like a, post, uh, post-apocalyptic is fun. Uh, cyberpunk would be fun. Um, you could go uh, like noir. Uh, go like the like hard-boiled detectives. Um, <coughs> I like that. Um, we could we could absolutely if we just need an excuse to have art of us in like mm-hmm. different genres we could absolutely do a, a a a show where it's like us going through different like different worlds um that would be that'd be a lot of fun i i don't even know if this is appropriate but like the noir one i feel it would be like uh like a rolled up like a like a white shirt with suspenders and a handlebar me with a handlebar mustache like a bartender like that feels a tattoo right. that's yeah. barely, that's covered up a little bit yeah. like you're like what it's is that the, tattoo but button up shirt like and a tie but the tie is undone and the button up shirt is down like five buttons and just open yeah. really far just the the corner of like a big chest tattoo sticking out um mm-hmm. yeah i like that um <laughs> I'm I'm in I'm into this this is fun i this is the that could absolutely we're finding things out about ourselves something. uh would you want to do um what's this one i'm looking at other episodes can i'm like uh down with the sickness um <laughs> are there any are there any topics you feel that we have to that we would you would like to revisit from our like from our last year i think that there are, there are some that i would like to go back to um and i i'm having trouble thinking of them off the top of my head but i know that there are are some out there um i also would love to uh there's a lot of like uh content in the like the old backlog um Mm -hmm. that i would love to revisit with you i think that uh Mm -hmm. that would be a lot of fun because there's some great great topics back there um but uh yeah there's there's stuff that i would like to go back to do you have a, a something in mind that you were thinking of i i there was a bit of me that wanted to do this and I did a, a veto, but you tell me if it's like, no, it might be different. Um, not, not spread out to the point where it's just like, uh, like we redo the whole list, but, uh, I going back to the monster rankings, I would like, I am curious to see if we still feel the same way about things. Uh, so yeah. if we not immediately, yeah. like we give it some more time, but we, we go, it's like, yo, do we still feel this way about dragons or do we still mm-hmm. feel this way about like plants? Because I remember we put the the violet fungus, uh, like you know, we made that like one of the most deadliest things on the planet. It wasn't was like, the most. It wasn't the most way? deadly. It was the like we put it the up best there. One, um, we weren't yeah, ranking yeah. by deadly. We were ranking by is it the best? This is true. What's um, the coolest? Yeah, yeah. Would we still feel that way? That's there, what I'm curious. That's about. very fair to to kind of revisit him and be like, okay based on like we're no longer going to be surprised by these uh Correct. like because yeah. that's the the violet fungus was like i think the main reason we put it up as high as we did was we were like we were so shocked we were like, yeah it does what that's so cool uh yeah i would i would absolutely be down to revisit some did of i those. tell you that that i encountered it like it no. was on the voctaire it was on the voctaires uh they 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 had sent one time like it was their their long 24 hour stream um and then they were like hey if you could join whatever and i joined at the tail end and there was a lot of mushrooms uh and they went into a room and there was these big like beholder mushrooms or something like that 
but there was purple little mushroom caps over on the edges and i knew what they were and i was like oh god those things are dangerous like, i know no, don't I know get exactly near them what this is this is this, but like this just to see the them in the wild i was like oh yeah. i'm actually seeing them really happen this is nuts that's really funny um i love that uh okay well there's it sounds like we have a lot of stuff that is like, I want to do this and I want to like, we, mm-hmm. we want to do that. So we'll, we should sit down and like get the, get stuff set up um, and kind of plan out the, uh, uh, our, our next couple of things. Um, I know I still have a, a stack of cards of uh, people that I want to get in contact with from, uh, uh, from PAX. I know, right? Um, yeah. It, I was like, Unplugged is always so difficult because it's like it, it's right before the the, the like holiday season, um, mm-hmm. and so like if I if I don't do it immediately upon getting back from PAX, then it's like okay, yeah. well now it's the week before Christmas. I don't want to I don't want to send out messages then. So usually I'll end up waiting until like the the new year and then send out something. Um, but I know I've already talked to a couple of people from, uh, from unplugged that are like, oh yeah, like we want to come on and, and talk about stuff. Um, so, uh, <laughs> we'll, we'll, uh, we'll follow up with them as well. I, I don't want to do it like this because, um, it is cool and, uh, he is cool. Uh, but there was one thing we talked about when we were, <laughs> we were <laughs> unplugged and it was a, a reoccurring segment. <laughs> Where uh, where we we have Brayden from Lorekeeper on? <laughs> Do you remember Bra- this? Brayden absolutely needs to come back on. Um, yeah. Uh, uh the that is uh, that is an absolute must. Uh, I I love having them on the on the show. Uh, um, and then just you know, uh, just he loves Lorekeeper. <laughs> yeah. Yeah. Um, I, I know We'd exactly have, what yeah. you're talking about. Uh, yeah, yeah. Don't, don't, <laughs> you know don't ruin the bit. Um, I'm just saying, I, I really, I really got, I, I, I really think like that'd it. be awesome. Yeah. Um, but yeah, there's a, there's so, there's so much that I am excited for, for the new year. I think there's a lot of very, very cool stuff that we can do, um, coming up. Um, for anybody who's, uh, who's listening, uh, join the, uh, join the discord. Um, the discord is a great place to give us feedback on things that you would like to see us start making or, uh, ideas for, uh, topics that you want us to talk about. Um, if we decide that we want to start doing like more like news stuff, um, having, uh, like voice some, some stuff of like, Hey, this is a thing that's happening. Um, stuff like that. Um, that's all a great place to do it as well. Um, anything else you want to touch on, uh, Junie, before we, uh, before we wrap up? I, I would, uh, I would like to just say thank you to you, to, to, to people that hang out here and whatnot. This, like I said, uh, this has been, this has been just a lot of fun uh, mm-hmm. and, uh, uh, you know, a cr- an outlet. <laughs> it's like, yeah. it's just like, you know what I mean? Uh, for, for people that uh, like to do nonsense uh, as, as their, their, it, their industry, their profession, uh, sometimes, you know, you can't always get that out. Uh, and uh, this has been so much fun and I just appreciate you, man. I, I appreciate say that. you too, man. They, I, it has been an absolute joy to, uh, to have you on board this year. Um, it is, it has been a, a, a fun ride. Um, the, it, it's one of those things where it's like, there's, there's so many, I, uh, so many days that I wake up and I'm like, I don't want to be awake. Like, I don't want to be up and moving. Uh, I feel that way a little bit less on Mondays and Fridays uh, because I get to uh, do this nonsense with you. So um, I I appreciate you uh, hanging out and uh, doing this nonsense. Um, It's been a a good year. Uh, I look forward to further nonsense down the down the road. and thank Monday, you, thank you to everybody who, to uh, yeah. uh, who listens to the show. It's, uh, you, you make it, uh, you make it possible. So thank you. Um, 
Junie, you already said it. New year, new us. Uh, uh, coming on Monday. Uh, we will be in uh 2024. Um, do you have a uh, uh my my wife asked me this yesterday. Um, do you have a vision statement for 2024? Oh God, vision right? statement. Yeah. And uh, follow up. What do you think? our vision statement for the show should be for 2024. Uh, what is, all right, hold on. This is, all right. I need you to, all right. So this is word association, right? So I want you mm-hmm. to like, just follow my train of thought. All right. This is not going to make sense until we get to the end of this, but vision statement. Right? And then I'm thinking like for me, and then I was like, all right, for the show. Mm-hmm. And then for the show, I was just like, all right, so vision, not just for us. I want to like embrace the nonsense, but I don't mm-hmm. want just us to embrace the nonsense. I want like everybody, so like almost like a cult, like so indoctrinate. So I don't know if indoctrinate the nonsense is like, like if that's problematic or not. Uh, I feel like like bad saying it, but I uh-huh. also, it might just be harmless and weird, uh, yeah. but um getting everybody else on board with just like oh nonsense it's like no I'm, you know i take it a little more serious it's like no but think about it have you ever had somebody yeah. just seriously go like i'm gonna like befriend the cow mm-hmm. it's like well yeah i guess like that's what that is mm-hmm. that's that's all that is you're doing it already now come over and drink the kool-aid because there's it's crazier and more fun 20, over here. 2024 drink the kool-aid um... <laughs> no no you see that that, you see that that feels too real that feels... uh no i perpetuate I, the nonsense is good perpetuate the nonsense uh, recruit uh, the nonsense recruit i don't the mm, nonsense mm, um accept mm. the nonsense as your lord and savior um the uh it bring <laughs> bring the nonsense into your heart uh if you're cold they're cold uh bring the nonsense in out of <laughs> make nonsense an indoor pet um <laughs> Make nonsense an indoor pet. What the fuck? <laughs> what the hell? <laughs> it spiraled out of control so quickly. Uh, thanks I need for to go being lay down. here, everybody. <laughs> uh, what about until, you? What about you? What do you uh, think? What? No, what's, what's, I'm, what's... I'm on board. Uh, I think that's. I think that's good. I think uh, em- embracing the like really, like really embracing embrace the nonsense this year and like uh really going after the uh the idea of like let's let's make that make that stuff happen let's do the uh do the things that are like fun and weird and put out that content that we're excited to see um be be the nonsense you want to see in the world um Ooh. uh Ooh, that's yeah. good so um yeah i'm on board um Monday is a new year, everybody. Uh, you're almost out of this one. Congratulations. Uh, you've, you've almost made it. Um, like you just got a little, little bit until the, the finish line. You're on that, that final corner there. Um, make don't it, give up though. Don't, finish, don't, don't finish slack off. Strong. Uh, finish, finish strong. this year yeah. strong. Um, but in a nonsense way, like, um, uh, until, <laughs> until Throw pocket Monday, sand somewhere and throw <laughs> Cross the finish line, reach into your pocket and pull out confetti and just throw it. Um, I- until next time, have a great weekend. Enjoy your new year. Um, remember to uh, uh, invite the nonsense in out of the cold. Uh, throw your pocket confetti uh, and we will see you Monday. Bye, everybody. <laughs>